Cisco Sample Tracker. Sample Tracker is an inventory system to track old stored laboratory samples. It is a multi-user program that provides a simple graphical interface to quickly perform all common sample handling tasks. Lab management is used to create the lab by placing the storages in defined relationship and to store the samples within the storages. Lab management organizes the samples and storages in such a manner that the user can access each and storage very conveniently and perform the required operations on the basis of privileges assigned to the user. There are two options in this lab management module storages and samples, and configuration templates. Under the storages and samples, it displays complete storages in the lab and samples in the, on those storages. It gives a view of all storages which are in use, in inventory, and out of service. This is a place where the user can create new samples and perform operations on samples. The user can perform actions on the sample of interest conveniently as the samples will be visible for the selected storage. The user can configure the lab as per his requirements and manage the samples. Under the configuration template, this is a tool for users to create storages in the lab by saving hierarchies as a configuration template. The templates once created can be saved and are available for use through the new configuration option. The user can navigate through all the configuration templates listed and choose the proper configuration set to use. It provides details and layouts of all storage available. Clipboard pane. Clipboard pane is a holding place for the following samples and storages. It is also a temporary holding place for the new samples. Here you can see new samples, move out samples, move out storage, query results, and pick list. There are also um, actions that can be done on the sample pane, such as check out samples, check in, move, ship, or dispose. Check out allows users to take out the sample for processing. User can perform this operation on single or multiple sample selection. Check in. It allows users to check in the samples again into the system after processing. User can perform this operation on single or multiple sample selection. Move. It moves the selected sample from sample pane to clipboard to change the location. These move samples are placed in the move out samples clipboard. Ship. User can send the samples from lab to other places for testing or other purposes by using the ship option. This can be done on single or multiple sample selection. Dispose. Dispose option deletes the selected sample from sample pane. This option can be used to remove unwanted or degraded samples so that these positions are available for new samples. Lastly, manage alicode. User can create alicodes of newly created samples before checking them into the system by manage alicode using option provided in the new sample clipboard. To create the alicodes, only one sample can be selected at a time. New configuration by storage template. User can configure new storages using existing storage templates through the new configuration by storage template option. Existing storage templates are the ready base for users to add new storages having the same template type. Clicking new configuration will display a new configuration wizard that will allow you to add one or more storages using a storage template. The prerequisite for this is that storage template must be defined for respective storages before selecting the storage template option.
The sample tracker also has a powerful search engine that allows for customized queries. Query Builder is a tool for the user where samples and storages of interest can be searched from the database. User can build a query based on the sample focus or storage focus. According to the focus of query, the fields will be available to the user. To define a query, user has to mandatory define a unique name to the type selected. Select the query type, and there are three query type selection, private, public, or out of platinum controller. Private are user-specific queries. Only the owner of the query can, can view and access this type of queries. Public. All privileged users can access and use this type of query, irrespective of the ownership of the query. Auto Platinum Controller. This type of query is made to access the query from the freezer controller. This is also a user-specific query, like the private query. Select the query focus, wherein this query focus can be a based on sample or storage. Depending upon the selection of query focus, the fields will get displayed in query clause definer. For sample focus, sample fields. For storage focus, storage fields. Next, select the field operator and field value and choose end slash or clause. The fields are derived from the sample definition for sample focus queries. Operator. By using operators, user can define the query of interest with listed fields. The system supports different types of operators. Field value. User needs to define or select values for the selected field and operator to run a query. How users can run query. Run query allows users to see the results of the query. The user can select the save query from the query list and click run query to see the results of the query. User can also navigate through all save queries according to the privileges assigned and can also see the definition of queries in the query definer pane. What are the steps? First, select the query from the Query Manager pane. Then, click Run Query to view the results for the selected query in the Query Results pane. In this way, a user can run the same queries and get results for further actions like export, Take results to storage management. Sample Tracker has complete audit trail capability with 21 CFR Part 11 compliance. Audit trail is a plug-in to keep track of activities performed in the Sample Tracker. It does this by recording actions and sorting this information in the form of history. It also records the full content of actions and allows access at any time based on privileges. Audit Trail has two submenus, Audit Trail Viewer and Audit Trail Setting. Audit Trail Viewer. The user can view the history of the audited log events in Audit Trail Viewer. These events can be sorted by using query clause or by setting time frame. User can define a query to sort the Audit Trail history or can set a time frame. If no query clause is defined, the query can be run on the current one-week time frame. Set the time frame for a period of time which the history is to be sorted. Then click Run Query to sort the history of the defined period of time. Additionally, user can define a clause and time frame to sort the results. Click the Click to Add Clause to Query to define a query for audit trail. It is similar to Query Builder. The field operator and field value can be selected with N or clause to define an audit trail query. The defined set of fields for audit query will be displayed 
on the screen. The operators will be the same as in the query builder. Field values can be defined by the user or can be selected from a drop down wherever applicable. Define the query for audit trail sorting. Click run query to display the results of defined time frame and query clause. Click export to export the sorted audit trails to MS Excel file. Click clear to refresh the query definition. Audit trail settings. User can enforce the audit trail in the sample tracker if required. Once the audit trail is enforced, the user can set the events for audit trail log through the audit trail setting options. There are types of audit trails, silent, interactive, and e-signature. Silent means this type of audit trail monitors and logs the activities silently, without any intervention by the user. Interactive means that audit trail monitors the activities and asks the reason for performing the activities. Lastly, e-signature audit trail, user has to authenticate himself to perform the activity and provide reason to perform the activities. Enforcing the audit trail. User can turn on and off audit trail as required. To switch on and off audit trail, user can click edit in the audit trail setting and this will open an edit audit trail setting dialog. Click check box to enable audit trail settings to on the audit trail logging for defined activities. Once the Enabled Audit Trail Settings option is enabled, the audit log of system events will start by default in silent mode and user cannot change the audit mode of these events. User can set the audit modes for all defined events. For example, in the Audit category, select the Sample Management option. It will display the auditable events. Select the radio button for each event to select the audit mode, either none, silent, interactive, or e-signature. Afterwards, click OK to save the set audit modes for all defined events or click cancel to cancel the changes made.